I'm Paul Hafner, Application Equipment Product Specialist. We're going to talk about a feature on the Rogator today, and that's the spray output, the pressure balance that we have in our booms. Now, it's very important that we manage the flow to the nozzles to make sure that we have even pressure across all of them. Because that's our job as a manufacturer. Once that product goes through the flow meter, the controller really has no more control over it. So it's up to us to feed the boom correctly and in a way that balances pressure across there to make sure we don't have one nozzle putting out four or five PSI more than another one. Rogator's always touted a plus minus one PSI differential. So that means if I measure the pressure of this nozzle to any other nozzle on the machine, I'll be within that plus minus one PSI, so within two. On our C-Series Rogator, we've made changes to the plumbing and how we feed the booms. And now our differential from one tip to another tip on here is actually down to 0.6 PSI. So it's a very consistent and uniform spray pattern from tip to tip. The way we do that is on a, all on how we fed the booms. So as you can see here, I have one feed line coming into the end section here. And then there's another feed line going into this one feeding the boom going that way. Let's look at this one here. It comes into this end. It's feeding back towards the machine. So it's bringing product in across all these nozzles. And you see here I have another feed line coming in to feed this end of the pipe. So while I'm spraying, we're feeding from both ends and it's equalizing the pressure inside of the plumbing. So as these nozzles are getting product out, it's not dropping pressure very much. The old way that we used to plumb a machine is that we would have a hose coming out, it would come to a T, where some product would be coming down into the pipe, the rest of it would be going on to feed the next section. And when it would come down to the pipe, how we would have that plus minus one PSI, is that we would limit how many nozzles we would feed. So if I had a T coming in here, pretty much can guarantee that you'd only have three nozzles to each side of that T. Because when you feed a boom that way, each time fluid exits with the nozzle body, the pressure inside the pipe drops a half PSI. So this one would be at full pressure, this would be a half less, and this one would be a full PSI left less. And if I went on to another one, it would be down to a P, you know, one and a half PSI, then two. And so the more nozzles you have on a single fed stack, the bigger the pressure differential from the inside to the outside of that pipe. So this way of doing it, one, keeps the plumbing very clean. We have very few T's and elbows, actually no T's, but very few elbows feeding the pipes. So very easy to clean. There is no place that we push product up against a, a dead end for product to build up. Um, and it's just very smooth, efficient flow out to the boom, guaranteeing you a good spray job. I'm Paul Aifner. Thanks for spending your time with me. Look forward to the next video.